We're here with Barrett on one of the most beautiful boats that we've come across so far at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, the Mag Bay 33. Barrett's gonna give us a quick rundown of his actual boat and this one that's been completely customized, has a bunch of additional features and is definitely a jaw dropper. So Barrett, if you don't mind, no problem. Us Thank you. So this is our 33 Mag Bay. Uh, we build these boats in Southern California. Real high-end, semi-custom production kind of boat. Uh, pretty simple, really. Uh, nice open area. We have two consoles. Both of these boats have our sun pad console, which gives you plenty of storage up front. We can do dive tank racks. Uh, we have the bow wow. table underneath here. Um, that sets in here. It can also go down and give you a sun pad. We have three fish boxes forward, two aft. Each are all insulated. They each have their own macerators. This particular boat has hose reels up front. We have washdowns up front and aft on each boat. I see actually right here before on this one in particular, you did a faux teeth. This uh, one got tool. artist Monique Richter came out. She did a gorgeous job. Uh, Boutique. We're using that as an option now. This yeah. particular boat has the windlass mounted uh, on top. The owner anchors in deep water, wanted a little bit more space. Normally yeah. the windlass is inside a shelf uh, in the anchor locker. Yeah, it definitely makes a huge, a huge difference on the boat. It's something that catches the eye, gives it that sport fish look and feel. One thing that Barrett does extremely well here is keeps everything simple, very, very functional at the same time. Doesn't do too much. You know, less is more. And I definitely appreciate that. This console is one of my favorite in the entire show. You can see this massive garment here and you can take us through a little bit of what you did with the boutique accents and everything else here as well. So this particular boat, the, the idea was to have this console look like it was all a piece of teak. We boutiqued everything, it's all fiberglass. We put the 24 inch garment, the owner laid out how he wanted everything. We have the auto anchor, the FLIR, control, the bow thruster control, trim tab, sea keeper. He also put a joystick in the boat. Uh, we did a custom little drawer uh, instead of our traditional cubby on the console. Uh, center helm arrangement is what we've done standard. We can do it port or starboard, whatever the customer would like. Uh, oh, and just really the steering wheel right here is basically what you would see on a sport fish. Yeah, and you know a lot of little things. Uh, helm Master doesn't have a rear mount helm, so we modify it. We make it look you know, as if it was a rear mount helm. Just a lot of the little things yeah. that you don't normally think of, we do. Small details that, yeah, I pick up and, and appreciate. You were mentioning your tower, full stainless steel, probably the only one we have here at the show. 100% 316 <laughs> stainless tower, yeah. yeah. The idea came about when we were putting the boat together to do a tower. Uh, we talked about a Marlin tower and then Gap Tower got thrown in the mix. We decided to do it. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of advantages to stainless, primarily the maintenance. 20 years from now, you can hit this with a polisher and it'll look exactly the same. It is yeah. a little bit heavier, but every single weld in the boat's mirror polished. You don't have to deal with, you know, the chance of powder coat chipping or dissimilar metals bonding uh, together. It's just a lot right. cleaner way. And it's here, like you were saying, there's no, you don't see where the joints were actually combined. Everything looks like it was one piece constructed of scratch for that single purpose. And you know, exactly. it's an amazing look. You guys did a great, great job with it. Thank you. So going back to the aft of the boat. So what this here? console here, we did a little bit different than our traditional boats. Uh, this has a sea keeper in it and the owner wanted a barbecue. Uh, this boat's going to Australia. So this has an Australian barbecue that's 230 and he wanted everything clean. So all the controls are actually in this little tackle center in the side down below. Uh, there's a little drip tray. It's a great setup, exactly how the owner wanted it. This console has two hose reels as well, so he's got 40 feet of washdown hose behind here. And this is a pop-out seat. Works out great. There's two overhead lights, so he can be barbecuing here. You got your light, cutouts. It's, it's, everything really came together really, really nicely on this boat. The tower itself, we made it so his kids can jump up there and jump off easily. He's got two young boys, so they can climb up the ladder, and we left a little space on the hardtop app so they can just run and jump off and not have to worry about hitting anything. Plus, idea. it's nice. You can stand up there when you're passing rods back and forth. Uh, and rod holders. Really easy to get into the tower. We try yeah. to keep everything clean, take a little bit of a different approach to uh, how we wanted to do it. It turned out fantastic. We're really, really happy with it. Yeah, came out gorgeous. Coming back to the rear of the boat, see brand new 425s from Yamaha? They are. What's your experience with those so far? 
To be honest, we haven't had a chance to run them with the right props. We're still playing with props, but uh, they've been an interesting motor. The torque on them is unreal. Yeah. It's amazing how fast they shoot this boat out of the water. Uh, we're really hoping to get uh, top end in the 60s uh, with a boat once we get the props done, but so far they've been great. Everything's plug and play, uh, it's easy to rig. Um, we're, we're excited about them. Yeah, definitely a nice setup with these two large swings on this 33 foot uh, setup. You know, beautiful boat all the way around. Thank you. Well, thank you very, very much for giving us a tour. It's Not a, a problem. Gorgeous boat. We wish you a lot of luck at the Fort Lauderdale thank Boat you Show. Very much. We recommend you guys to come out to Mag Bay, take a look at their boats in person. Take them out for a sea trial. You're going to be very impressed with what you see. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.